this is James from 40K Amateur Hour and Rico. And we're back after a long, long hiatus. Long, very long. We do apologize for that. We've actually just, pretty much all of us have gotten some type of change in job promotions and other things that have kept us pretty busy. But we do still love 40K and we're going to be back doing some, some more stuff hopefully as the time goes on. Yep, we all got uh, we all got promoted and so we're back with the much awaited promised how to make the trench board that uh, Rico and I made. So here's part one. Enjoy. All right, so what you see is we're actually working really hard right now on some foam. This is your basic foam that you get for insulation foam. For most of the boards that you see, you just get the half inch to inch foam and you just build whatever you need on it. But since we wanted depth, we needed to get two layers. And so we actually bought the smaller one for the base and then this two inch thick foam for the trenches because we had to actually cut them in so that we had three dimensional depth. You can't cut your gaming table holes in it. So we decided to do it this way. Uh, what we found is it is not the same price everywhere you go. So shop around. We actually bought the base at one store and the two inch at a different store because there was a significance in the difference of the price. That's true. It was, it was pretty big. And then the other thing you got to do is since with the trench board, um, I don't, we don't have the exact dimensions. We'll put it in the comments below. Um, but we actually measured our guys and then made sure that's what it was. So they would so, be in full cover yeah. for our rule system that we did with the trench. And so we'll, and we'll provide the rule system with this as well, but we wanted basically a World War One trench is what we were going for. Yep. Not a World War Two, or, you know, you see where they were completely in cover on this. And so, the, so to do that, you, you get everything ready, and so here's our trench, and what we're doing now is we're planning everything out. And it makes, we made it look super easy. Yeah. And in reality, it took us a while to plan this out. We, it took us a little while. We did, you saw the paper that we were moving around. We actually did a, a blueprint, which is always smart. We drew it out as you can see and we're doing it in sections uh, we wanted it to be playable both lengthwise and short and long of the table and diagonal, so, and, diagonal. And, and the, the what is it the, the dawn yeah, dawn of so war either way like, which one so yeah. it's playable either way and we actually made it a little bit longer because we have the end section which we'll talk about later that we have for the fortifications and things but so as we're doing it you'll notice that we're going to try here in a minute to cut it and we'll talk about that too all right, so getting into the cutting section, this was actually kind of funny because we you know people. Talk, we don't we're, need to we're talk about talk, this. We, no, no, Rico. We, we, we know people have uh, foam cutters. We were talking about foam foam cutters and different types of things, but with this foam and that, and how many angles and that we want to take, a we didn't have a foam cutter at the time, and b it was just too difficult on some of the things we we're doing. So we thought, well, what is the easiest way to do it? We tried probably what was it, four or five, four or five different methods. Horrible, non OSHA <laughs> approved. <laughs> The best you was, shouldn't do it. The best is when we all burnt, burnt James's house down oh. by trying to heat a knife up. But actually, the easiest and fastest and simplest way that we found was by using jigsaw. The jigsaw. Uh, it worked really well. It cut right through the foam. It, it moved and maneuvered really well. Uh, as you can see, it's cutting perfectly the way we want it. And we just kind of smoothed out some of the edges with the sander. And uh, we'll show you a little bit about that as well. But worked really perfect for what we wanted. Power tools. Uh, power tools. Yeah, if you have smaller and some thinner uh, foam that you're working with, the foam cutter would be perfect. Uh, this actually just worked really best for us. Yeah, we tried we tried X-Acto knives. Uh, we tried uh, box cutters at first, and it just, just the blade wasn't quite big yeah, enough. How long foam. and how thick it was, it just wasn't working. Jigsaw was perfect. Mm -hmm. took two seconds as we just cut through it and just went right through it really easy. Yeah, it just took us all day to figure out that the jigsaw would work yeah. really the best. So... That'll save you some time if you're <laughs> wondering how to do it. And don't burn it in your house. Uh, Try to heat up your knives. Yes. So uh, as, as you'll notice as we're kind of cutting through this, one of the biggest things that we need to do is you need to label everything. Uh, you'll see the different sections that we are making go away. Those are actually the trenches because we want the trenches to be the depth. So they're all X'd out and that's what we need to actually cut away. All of the solid pieces are the land above. So we have to make sure that we labeled each and every one very carefully because we're going to section it into four sections as you'll see. I mean oh well, yeah. yeah the two foot and two foot square sections as you'll notice as we're cutting along through it and so make sure that you have everything well labeled and take care of you'll see us do that here in just a second So as you can see, one of the biggest things that we need to make sure is you had it in the right order. It's like a giant jigsaw puzzle. So when we sectioned it off in the two by two sections, we did that mainly for transportation and storage. Uh, it's hard to take a six foot by four foot, whatever, <laughs> two 
two foot by eight foot. Yeah, and however and, big we made and it. And this board is actually just a little bit bigger than a normal, than a normal 40K. 40k, which we did on purpose because we had a, a campaign coming up with with the fortification. So we split it up into these two by two squares, um, so we could stack them and move them, and you can keep them in your house. You can do whatever yeah. you want. So as we as we were making it, though, the best thing was is to make sure, just like a puzzle, we would lay each one down, draw it out as you can see as we're going around it and, and tracing it onto the baseboard, and we labeled everything, and then we double checked to make sure we put arrows pointing. Each thing is connected to this, this connects to that, so that when we glued it down, it made we glued it, it right. Yeah. Otherwise, it gets all messed up. Once it's down, it's pretty much down, and so we made sure that it was clear and, and precise and where we wanted everything. You can see us recheck and double check in, because we want to make sure that everything fit perfectly when we put all the pieces together and made it one big solid trench piece. All right, so as it's coming along, we wanted to actually add some cool detail, and it's a battlefield. So with a battlefield, you have to have explosions. Explosions. Explosions are always cool, and you have to have rubble, and you know the terrain has to look like it's been through it a battle. So we wanted to add some craters. Everybody loves craters. Plus, I, I love that four plus. Cover yeah, you get some cover on the craters. So we uh, try to think of some different ways in, to make craters. Uh, the easiest thing that we found is to get a heat gun. We were thinking about maybe trying to carve them out and dig them out and some things like that, but the easiest way is we just got the heat gun. You can see us making some awesome craters. Uh, we went around the whole board just adding no, no. texture. No, no, you went around well, the whole I, board. Oh, it was fun. Because you wouldn't let me have it. <laughs> I, I wouldn't share. Uh, it was fun just watching the craters form and we just went around most of the board making just texture. Small, medium, large craters. Just bumps, rumps, everything you could find around in there. Uh, it was pretty good. We had it smooth out a little bit because when it did melt, it kind of had that weird alien kind of like egg type. It, it looked alien, and just yeah. Yeah, something you may want. We we had to go back in and kind of smooth it over. We did go in and smooth it over and just add a little bit more into that. Uh, one thing that we did notice, you notice here in just a second, that as we're uh, going along, the styrofoam itself actually has some natural seams in it where they would put it together and I just kind of started making a crater around one of these seams and it just does not work really well because the seam kept splitting so we had to go back in later and touch that up and put some putty, putty stuff in through the center of that yeah kind of you, make you that. split that sucker right yeah, away. You, can see, you can see it right there that's bad call don't ever try to do that uh, we actually ended up putting around most of these seams and just trying to cover them so you couldn't see them but when you tried to put a crater on one didn't work so well. Also, an uh, important safety tip. We were doing this outside uh, in a well-ventilated area, and you're, you're burning styrofoam, and so it stunk really oh, yes, bad. Yes, it very much. But it's also giving off toxic fumes. This has to be the, the safety guy in me. Yeah. And, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm the required ocean manager of 40 Camature. <laughs> so wear, wear a mask, obviously well-ventilated. Um, it, it drove the family inside uh, when yeah. you were doing this. <laughs> you're burning that foam again. Yeah, yeah. foam, ha, foam, ha, foam. As you see now, we have several craters all over the board. You can make them as big, as small as you want. The one thing that we realized that was kind of cool is we wanted the trench to provide cover. And Guys on have, top of the trench. So while you, while you were in the trench, we wanted the trench to provide the cover. So we thought, well, what about those poor suckers that are charging across the top of the field? And so we wanted a lot of craters to provide some cover for them. And we also, we'll know, so we'll add some sandbags and some other things in the way to give those guys who aren't in the trench just a little bit of help. So this last little bit of this version, you'll see the end of the table. This was, you'll notice there's nothing at the very end. That's our extension where we're going to be putting all of the fortifications and things for part of the scenario. So the actual trench ends at that one end, and you'll see it's still sectioned into the two by two um, squares, and then that's just the very end of the end. All right, well, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part two. Uh, like, subscribe, comment below, and if uh, you like what we're doing, we'll be back with some more <laughs> crazy terrain. Crazy terrain.